Well, praise the Lord Most High. Let's be He. Father, help us to find our way to You, that the deceptions of the world not cloud uh, uh, our way, uh, our way in in Jesus' name. Water, Spirit, and the new birth. That's the topic for today. So the value of the water, uh, the value of the Spirit, and the new birth. So there's actually three baptisms uh, into the kingdom. Because the one is into the kingdom itself, and we're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. We're going to be like Jesus. Uh, uh, first, let us begin with the, with the reason uh, for the baptisms. Adam and Eve lived in paradise uh, till the wicked one uh, deceived them both. Uh, the wicked one caused Adam and Eve uh, to be cast out of the uh, out of paradise. They were also uh, cursed uh, with the flesh. Uh, all flesh will one day die and and go back to dust. All those uh, uh, who do not uh, overcome uh, this flesh uh, will be cast into the lake of fire as as uh, on on ju judgment day. Man has no hope of, uh, or had no hope of being saved until the Father of all things came himself to redeem each of us back to him. He did this uh, because uh, of his great love for, for, his gener uh, for his creation, which was created in his image. He gave us uh, a plan uh, to follow, uh, to be born, reborn, of the flesh and that the curse of the flesh would no, no longer bind us uh, to the law and the judgment and condemnation. The Father came and overshadowed uh, Mary's vir Mary, a virgin uh, of, of the age of 16 years. This is the, this is the beginning of our, our redemption uh, back to grace uh, of, of the Father's uh, uh, creator God. Uh, when he was uh, uh, born as a, as, a, as a virgin, he was uh, the light of the world, yet uh, uh, not all received him. We call his name uh, Jesus or Jehovah uh, because this is, uh, is, this is a name that, uh, which, he was, uh, which was given that we all might be saved through him. One footnote, there is... Uh, Note, uh, when you cry out uh, to the Father and, uh, and you proclaim hallelujah, it is the highest praise. Hallelujah means uh, my God Jehovah or my God Jesus, and it is the same. So Mary gave uh, birth to, to Jesus, yet in, uh, it, uh, it, it was a supernatural birth, but uh, just as the conception uh, of it. A bright light came to Mary, uh, uh, and and Mary was uh, was pregnant uh, with our with our Lord and Savior. A bright light came again, and and, and the baby uh, Jesus was uh, in in her arms as a child. There was a baby. It was done uh, because the Father uh, crosses every uh, T and dots every I. A woman makes a blood covenant with a, with a man at marriage. Uh, you can you can only uh, this can only be done once. Joseph had not touched Mary until till after the birth of, of Jesus Christ. This uh, this blood covenant was uh, was there when when Joseph and Mary came together and had more children. Jesus showed us uh, how uh, to be saved and redeemed back to the Father. But make no mistake, He and the Father are one. In John 14, 9, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you, uh, and yet you have, uh, have not known me, Philip? He was talking to one of the apostles, Philip. And he, would, he that has seen me uh, has seen the Father. And uh, how say you then, show us the Father. So uh, in John uh, 17, 11, and now I am no longer with you in the world, but uh, these are in the world. So he's praying for you right now. Not only you, but the apostles also. And I, uh, uh, I come to you, Holy Father, 
and keep through through your own name those who you have given me that they may uh, be one as we are one. Now uh, <clears throat> he and the Father are one. Now uh, now this last passage of, of Scripture tells us uh, that Jesus and the Father are now one and that uh, those who follow uh, will also be one with Jesus. For Jesus came out from the Father and now is rejoined with the Father with uh, uh, which is spirit. So how do we uh, become one uh, also with the Spirit? Jesus says in his word tells us all things uh, pertaining to salvation. And Jesus tells us where well, we must be born again uh, to enter into the kingdom of God. In John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So then how do uh, how is this done uh, to be born again? Peter tells us exactly how this is done. In Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, Repent, and uh, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Ask, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the first part of this uh, scripture tells us uh, uh, we must repent. This is a form of, uh, this is from your heart, meaning you understand uh, you are born into, uh, into the curse of the flesh. Not, uh, not that you have been evil or, uh, all your life, but, in, uh, but the flesh has, has a sin nature which causes you to stay in sin and under the law of condemnation. Repenting is changing your mind. Or in other words, uh, for, for this purpose, uh, you must uh, decide uh, to follow Jesus. Next, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. This cleanses your body uh, on the outside and on the inside. When you come out of the water uh, and, uh, and are asked, how, how do you feel? Uh, there are, all, everyone's words are, I feel clean. Because you see, you clean your all that everything is gone. For this is a, a supernatural cleansing from the Lord Himself. The curse of the uh, uh, of the sin of the flesh is washed away, and you uh, you abound in grace uh, of of the Lamb, which is Jesus. Therefore, you uh, uh, you walk in newness of life, no longer uh, looking for the judgment day to to be cast into the lake of fire. Paul in his writings uh, tells us uh, we are baptized into Jesus Christ uh, or are baptized into his death. In Romans 6, 1, uh, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, uh, how, how, how shall we uh, that are dead uh, to sin have, have any longer, live any longer therein? So we're supposed to strive to the mark. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by the by baptism into death that like as Jesus was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we also shall walk in newness of life. Uh, this newness of life is, uh, is, uh, is the covering of, of the blood Jesus shed for you and uh, <clears throat> thereby uh, being baptized uh, into Jesus Christ, the curse of the flesh has no more uh, hold on you. And you walk in, in uh, as Jesus walked without the curse of the flesh. But you can, uh, but you can willingly return uh, to that uh, judgment by uh, continuing to do what uh, you know is sin and do it anyway, deliberately. Therefore, you can walk away from God. Uh, what uh, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Uh, God forbid that we should uh, that uh, are, are, that we should that are that are dead to sin. Uh, uh, should we, we we shouldn't live any longer that way? But we are uh, to strive to. Uh, for the mark of the high calling of God, 
In Philippians 3.14, I press toward the mark of, for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. And now we know earlier, uh, easily, uh, now we could easily go uh, <clears throat> on of, on many topics, but uh, but we must uh, also have uh, the infilling uh, spirit of uh, of Jesus Christ in us. If I could, in in other words, I could embellish or go on with the uh, uh, testimony here, but uh, I'm getting for the sake of time and stuff. This is the, the this is the infilling of the Holy Spirit, making us us uh, family with the Lord Jesus Christ and and the Father, and then also joint heirs with him. It gives us the right to sit with him on his throne. And worthy to sit at the right hand of the Father on the throne of Jesus Christ, his first begotten Son. In Ephesians 1.3 uh, Blessed be uh, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us uh, all spiritual, with spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Jesus' name. Uh, according uh, as it, uh, it has given us uh, in, in him before the foundation of the world, that we should uh, be holy and without blame before uh, him in love. Having uh, predestined us to, unto the adoption of, uh, uh, of children by, by Jesus Christ uh, uh, to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. To the praise of the glory of his grace, uh, wherein uh, he has made us accepted uh, in, uh, in the beloved, in whom we uh, have redeemed, uh, uh, were redeemed uh, through his blood and forgiven, and forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace, wherein he has uh, abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence having made uh, known unto, uh, the, to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which uh, he has purposed uh, in us, in himself. That, uh, that, uh, that dispensation of the, of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one all, all things in Christ, both which uh, are in heaven and which are on earth. Uh, even in him in the in whom uh, also we have uh, obtained an inheritance uh, being predestined according to the pro uh, purpose of him who walks all uh, works all things after the counsel of his own will man he's he's powerful so that that we should be uh, uh, to the praise and the glory of, of his glory of his glory who first trusted in, in Christ. And uh, here's the here's the great part. In whom uh, you also trusted, if you trusted him. And this is the, about the infilling of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. After that you heard the, the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, there's only one, in whom also after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. That is the infilling of the Holy Spirit, which is the earnest uh, of our inheritance unto the redemption of the and purchased possession, unto the praise of His uh, of His glory. So then we are, uh, so then we see uh, that we are sealed uh, into the family of God through Jesus Christ, which uh, which makes us uh, also heirs to the throne of God. No wonder, for, no wonder Lucifer was so uh, jealous of man when he was uh, made. Uh, for all the, uh, for although he he was created and was uh, was the morning star which sang uh, to the Lord, uh, the, though he, uh, he and uh, he even hovered over around the throne, the joy of setting with the with the word uh, of God, which he will never he will never have. Therefore he rebelled against God and will uh, will pay a great price for his uh, for his rage against the, the image of God which uh, 
is the human race. Now in this uh, you should uh, understand God is is a uh, is a term used even the father is is a term used to convey a meaning but uh, this does not truly describe what the father uh, or the word is for the father is everything which uh, what you see and cannot see he and uh, and all of creation are dwell, uh, all dwell in the Father Himself. There is nothing outside of Him and nothing but Him. In Isaiah 45, 18, For thus saith the Lord uh, that created the heavens, uh, and, uh, God Himself, that, that formed the, the earth and made it, and He established it, He created it not in vain. He formed uh, it to be uh, inhabited, uh, I am the Lord, and there is none else. I have not spoken in, in secret uh, in in the dark uh, place of the earth. I said uh, not unto the seed of Jacob, seek uh, seek you me in vain. Uh, I I the Lord speak speak righteousness. I declare things that are that are right. Assemble yourselves and come, draw near uh, together, you that uh, are escaped of the nations. Uh, <clears throat> they have no knowledge that set up the word of, uh, of, their, of their graven images. In other words, they uh, you know, are worshiping and their knowledge is they're stupid. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And, and, and praying to gods that... Uh, that not, cannot save. Uh, tell all and bring and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together. Uh, have who has uh, declared this from ancient times? Uh, who has uh, told uh, told it from from that time? Have I not the Lord? Yes, the Lord has said that. And there is no God else beside me, a just God and Savior. There is none beside me. Now, in, in, uh, in John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. Well, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. He's always been there. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that which was made. In, uh, in Him was life, and the life uh, was the light of, the, of man. Uh, Jesus uh, the Word uh, and the Holy Spirit are all part of the Father's manifestations. This same Spirit, which uh, which the Father sent to to save save us back from Him, dwells in uh, all who are who have received Him. The infilling of the Holy Spirit. This is the the infilling of uh, Jesus Christ in you, giving you power to raise the dead and all the other manifestations. The only uh, the only reason you are uh, do not manifest in these things is the lack of understanding that you you have been given these powers. In John fifteen sixteen, uh, you have not uh, chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you uh, should go uh, and bring forth uh, fruit, and that uh, your fruit shall remain. That whatsoever you shall ask the Father in in my name, uh, He will He He may give it to you. In John sixteen twenty three, and in the in in that day uh, you shall ask me not, nothing. Most assuredly I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, He will give it to you. Now for for the now for the new birth. Uh, to the incorruptible at the at the rising uh, of the saints at the calling away a new body of incorruptible will be given each of you in first corinthians 15:51 uh, behold i show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but but we shall be all changed in first corinthians 15:52 in the moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trump shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. 
in, in uh, 1 John uh, 3, 2, and behold, now are, are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we, we shall be like him, for he shall, we shall see him as he is. In Revelation uh, 22, 13, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that uh, do the uh, do His commandments, and and they may <clears throat> have right uh, to to the tree of life, and may enter in uh, through the gates uh, unto unto the city. That would be the new city of Jerusalem. In Revel in Revelation 22:16, I Jesus have sent uh, mine angel to testify unto these things uh, uh, in the churches. I am the root of the offspring of David and the bride and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that hears my hears say, come. And him that let him that a thirst come. And whoever whosoever will, let him take uh, the water of life freely. In Revelations 22, 21, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with uh, you all. Amen. Let us understand first uh, who's, uh, whose we are and who we are in Jesus Christ. Then let us take all, all things uh, to our Father and, 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 and all of our requests. Uh, these, uh, this is they, uh, then let us take all things to our Father and request these uh, things, and they will be yours. And let, so let us pray. Father, we come to you now, Lord, for everyone, for everyone that has a request. And as we bring them to you now, Lord, we lay them at your feet, knowing that you will answer. <speaking in Hebrew> La conda hatem de lo cosciato conda tite. La coscia conga cassatati. La conda la catin de bacocia catabocchi. Yatendo lo cosci. Cotenda la bacia In Jesus. Now, as always, Jesus loves you. And I will love you. Stay blessed. Until next time. In Jesus' holy name. Let's be healed.